we are encouraging electric buses electric cable buses we are also now starting one pilot project in nagpur with tata and uh, hitachi the electric bus without cable the 18 and 24 meter buses we are planning to run in our ring road and that is to be economically very effective we will reduce the cost of the uh, tickets compared with the diesel buses by 30% so it is the import substitute cost effective pollution free and indigenous that is really a, one of the important thing for all of us all of us the current transport 85% dependent on fossil fuel india is the third largest auto market of 20 lakh crores actually this subject is related with my ministry when i taken charge as minister the size of the industry was 7.5 lakh crore and now just 3 to 4 month before our number was 4 and we just surpassed japan and now our number is third in the world so i am confident that number 1 is usa it is 78 lakh crores china is 45 lakh crore and we are now 20 lakh crore the achieve the this is very important industry this is the industry which is giving maximum gst to the central and state government this is the industry up till now create 4.5 crore jobs and this is the industry who has got lot of exports our two wheelers manufacturer bajaj tvs hero honda they have already export of their 50% of two wheeler production so i feel that this is really a golden opportunity for our atwal industry by using alternative fuel and biofuel we can 100% achieve the goal and we will become number 1 in the world that can be possible because everywhere in the world now the people are very sensitive about air pollution our dependence on fossil fuel crude oil is 87% gas 53% and coal 22% so the crude oil is really one of the challenging sector for all of us now the problem is that when many people asking me about this every time that you are talking about ethanol methanol biodiesel bio lng bio cng electric hydrogen so you are encouraging everybody <laughs> but i am telling you frankly itna bhi sab kuch ho to bhi import rehne wala hai kyunki bahut badi gap hai and that is the reason ki we need to have all successful practices on alternative fuel and biofuel now regarding the green hydrogen is the fuel for the future abhi hum log energy ko ayat karne wala desh hai aur humko energy ko niryat karne wala desh bana sakta hai to hydrogen bana sakta hai and that is the most important thing the potential is 5 million metric tons per year addition of 125 gigawatts energy capacity and total investment is 8 lakh crore and employment opportunity is 60 lakh jobs and import substitution for rupees 4 lakh crores the problem is current cost of hydrogen in india is rupees 300 rupees per kg i got opportunity to launch the factory in bangalore electrolyzer every 1 kg of hydrogen we need 45 to 50 units of power so that is to be a big problem and the cost going to 300 rupees per kg the most important thing which is particularly related with you people proven technology economic viability availability of raw material and marketability of the finished product just one month before i got about to launch the cng motorcycle of bajaj in pune now running motorcycle on petrol 
the cost is coming 2 rupees 25 paisa per kilometer and cost for cng motorcycle the first time in the world bajaj launched that motorcycle the cost is coming 1 rupees per kilometer so exactly 60% 60 70% 65% the cost saving is there so as come with first priority is to biofuel alternative fuel and second priority to the gas economy so i feel that today lot of people are working on this and because of this power cost the electrolyzer process is not preferably uh, advisable in the country but the most important thing is if we can increase the productivity of energy biomass and if we can use that for making of hydrogen by using the biomass into biodigester to, to go to form methane and from methane we can make the hydrogen the second important thing which is available which is a very very cheap source that is of so solid municipal waste in delhi we have got the mountains of this <laughs> already garbage in delhi we have just 80 lakh ton of garbage we have used in ur2 dwarka express highway and delhi mumbai express highway we have already used 40 lakh ton of municipal garbage in amdavad dorio road then chandigarh also we used it so by segregating the municipal waste we will get metals glass and plastic metal and gas glass there is a uh, in circulation economy we can make the recycling of this material and uh, regarding plastic we can get crude petrol and we can add 50% of that crude petrol into the diesel also there is a saving so now the most important thing is how we can get that hydrogen with 80 rupees per kg 1 dollar per kg that is to be big challenge 